All right, so it's my daily watching the world burn video. <laughs> you know, I, I wanted to, uh, you know, I don't want these videos to be just about watching the world burn. I want you to be preparing to watch the world burn. Okay, so what did I do today? Um, now my garage, my uh, motorcycle, the Honda ADV 150, uh, if you want to go back, I did a bunch of reviews on that, uh, showed you how to put a carrier on the back of it, uh, showed you how to change the oil, uh, whatever. Um, but today, you know, I, I, every day, you know, I wake up and I think, what do I need to do? What do I need to do to prepare? You know, what, what can I do today? Um, you know, it's, it's, I know it's all about friends, family, it's the, it's the holiday season. Uh, you know, but do I need to make a couple phone calls today? Do I need to go to the gym and work out? So today it was uh, ride the motorcycle into Ocala and uh, and just do a, a maintenance because so, it had basically sat in the garage because I couldn't ride it because well, after breaking my neck. Uh, and I'm going to tell you, man, it was it was tough. I I thought I thought I was ready for a long ride like that because uh, getting through a city. And, and now Ocala, I mean, it's it's a city. I mean, we so many people have moved to Florida. It's just ridiculous. I mean, my God, you know, you wait at the stoplights, you know, just do to do to do. I mean, and when you're on, you know, of course, my legs are only 28 inches long. <laughs> you know, I sit there with my little tippy toes on the on the asphalt. But hey, uh, before I get into the uh, depressing stuff here, I wanted to show you this, man. Nobody ever gives me anything for free. And I, I thought this was really cool. I mean, I'm going to get this up next to the camera. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. I can't wait to see it, what it looks like. Check that out. Isn't that cool? So this is, uh, and then I'll flip it around. Hopefully I got it on the camera. You know, I, I, um, I mean, this is, this is, this is why I deal with SD bullion. I mean, that's a, this is a class, class act. This is pure copper. Now, you'd say, well, you know, it's copper, ain't worth much. No, man, I mean, this is, this is, you know, in the military, we would always, you get coins, and they're made out of something that is worthless. Copper's actually worth a bit of money. I mean, I don't know. I, I bet this, uh, as copper goes up, uh, this is going to be worth, a, you know, a little bit of money, and, and I think it's beautiful. I'm just shocked that they did that. I, thought, I think that's really, that's a class act. And I guess it's because I've been a good customer of theirs, I, I assume. Although I did get a comment on my video. By the way, somebody asked about <laughs> the heater here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it puts up pretty good heat. Uh, it's not the same as the DR Doctor, you know, uh, that I did the review on. Because um, that's, uh, you know, this just, it's, you know, it's a great little heater for like a little small room. And you want to have the fire, you know, to, to look at. Uh, and in fact, I mean, I, I'm here in my, I call this the Florida room, and uh, it, it heats this whole room. I mean, it's not a big deal, but the DR Doctor heats the whole damn house. So that's, that was the purpose uh, of getting uh, rid of the natural gas and just using electricity. So I'll have to let you know what the electric bill is. Um, I mean, I don't know. Either my house is extremely well insulated or, because I, I look at the temperature, the temperature never goes, I, you know, I keep the heater, especially at night, I put it on about 65 to 68 or so. Uh, I'll wake up in the morning and it'd be 71 degrees in the house. <laughs> I'm like, how can that be? It was 40 degrees last night. I don't, I don't understand it. You know, maybe I got like geothermal energy coming up through the floor. I mean, which would be great. You know, I mean, I'm glad to hear that. Uh, anyway, let's get to uh, the latest on uh, the war. Uh, that that uh, is, is not a war, that uh, Russia is losing, uh, if you listen to the mainstream media. Let's see if I can get this. I swear, every time I, I touch this thing, it goes wrong. Uh, oh, over the last several months, in fact, I would argue virtually from the 24th of February, when the uh, Russians first intervened, the tendency in the media has been to repeat ad nauseum whatever the Ukrainian government says and treat it as the truth. And let's be frank, from the outset, uh, they've been telling everyone, well, the Ukrainians are winning, the Russians are losing, the Russians are losing tens. So attribution, uh, this is Colonel McGregor. Uh, I consider him the premier authority on the war. And uh, if only we could get him 
in charge and get rid of Millie and Austin, uh, I, we'd, be, uh, we'd be a lot better off as a country. But let's just listen to him for just a minute. I, I, I don't want to steal too much of his parade. He, by the way, he's got his own channel. I didn't even know it. I just subscribed to it a couple days ago. Uh, but the thing is, he's, he's, he does interviews with other channels. And anyway, let's just, let's just listen. Thousands of soldiers are losing hundreds of tanks and critical equipment and the Russians can't do anything right and the Russians are losing. Well, that has never really been true. Uh, virtually from the beginning, the Russians went in with a fraction of the force that they had available because they assumed that we ultimately would negotiate and be interested in arranging a ceasefire and coming to some... Now, if you followed my channel, uh, early on I was telling you that you know, and this is where the, the Western propaganda arm, the Pravda, or whatever you want to call them, uh, the Marxist media, uh, was lying to you. I mean, Russia went in with a very small force, and uh, and they had no intention of, of, of going to all-out war. They, they they just wanted to defend the Donbass region, and, uh, you know, whether you believe that the, the election actually took place there or not, I don't know. Um, but... Uh, so yeah, I mean they they had very small uh, uh, small amount of their forces on you know actually in Ukraine uh, at the start of the war back in January or February, and that's what he's pointing out here. Okay, things changed. Let's listen up because the Biden administration are a complete bunch of idiots. Agreement because their principal interest, as you know, was always to have a neutral Ukraine. This didn't happen. And uh, finally, in the summer, uh, I think the, uh, the leadership in Moscow decided we, we've got to change our approach. We have no choice. We have to treat Ukraine as a theater of war. And that's what they've done. They've absolutely turned Ukraine into a theater of war. And they have changed their approach 180 degrees from what it was. Ukrainians have been losing hundreds of thousands of men as casualties. We estimate they've had 400,000 casualties, of which over 100,000 are dead. Now, very recently, Ursula von der Leyen, who is the president of the European Union, actually admitted <clears throat> that the Ukrainians had lost at least 100,000 dead. The truth is that over the last several months, the losses have been so heavy that we think it's probably closer now to about 120 to 125,000. And and the second part of this, of course, is that uh, the Europeans, and we to a large extent, have run out of ammunition and equipment to send to them. We're now talking about uh, building new equipment that can be sent over and stripping out whatever we can find from many of our own units to the point where, frankly, if we had to fight a war in Central Europe, we'd be in trouble. We're down to days, maybe a couple of weeks of ammunition. The Russians have always been accused of running out of rockets, running out of missiles, running out of ammunition, and nothing could be further from the truth. They've been running out of tanks in the game. Nothing could be further from the truth. The Russians now have <clears throat> set up a, a very effective defense while they build up four massive offensive operations in December and January. And uh, those are those buildups are almost complete. That we can account now, as I pointed out in the op-ed, for about 540,000 troops, 1,500 tanks, uh, another 3,000 plus uh, armored fighting vehicles, uh, hundreds of guns, a thousand rocket and drone uh, strike systems, uh, hundreds of fixed wing fixed wing aircraft, and hundreds of helicopters. The bottom line is that the Russians are now going to war. So there you have it. I don't, I don't want to rain on his parade. You can look for him on YouTube. Um, you know, whether you want to believe what he's saying or not, I, you know, that's up to you. I, I followed the war on various channels. Uh, um, you know, I, you know I, I love the fact that Rumble is a free speech platform, but uh, you go over there and... Uh, you do get Russian soldiers and uh, Ukrainian soldiers posting some intensely graphic uh, videos, uh, you know, of soldiers with their hands blown off, um, uh, you know, uh, t taking bodies out of tracked vehicles. I, I watched the video of Ukrainian soldiers and the guy, they were laughing. They were actually laughing as they took the body out of the, uh, the tracked vehicle and loaded it into a body bag. Um, 
Anyway, I mean, I, I, I'm sure, you know, everybody reacts differently. I'll give you my war story. It was, uh, we, were, we were offloading a, a box of Bangalore torpedoes off of a deuce and half. Uh, when I was in the Mojave Desert. Now, for any explosive to go off, it takes uh, heat and pressure, okay? And that's, that's what a blasting cap does. It gives you that heat and pressure that, so, you know, you, you have your, your main explosives, which would be a Bangalore torpedo. That's the equivalent of about, I want to say 15 pounds of TNT, one section. Okay, so a whole box. I mean, you know, that, 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 that would be a massive explosion. And I... Uh, the guy slipped and we dropped the whole damn box <laughs> six feet. Now you got to remember that the, the desert floor is 40 degrees. I mean, 140 degrees, right? And so that box, I mean, it hit the ground. It could have very easily gone up. I mean, it could have very easily gone up. We would have been vaporized right there on the spot. And, uh, and so I started laughing hysterically and, uh, and man, the sergeant, he beat the crap out of me. He just smacked it. That ain't funny, you stupid son of a, you know, you know, and he smacked me around, you know. And, and I said, man, Sarge, I'm just happy to be alive, man. I'm just happy to be alive. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, so, yeah, so, you know, people react differently to, to situations, you know. I mean, uh, we all, um, in, 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 a, in a crisis type environment like that, you know, I mean, if somebody starts laughing hysterically, that's just their way of dealing with it, you know. Um, so that's it for this, uh, this update. You know, I gave you my, uh, investment tips. I, like I said, I sold that, um, that number seven that, uh, Rick Rule. You'd have to go back to that video. I can't remember the ticker symbol. I don't have it handy. And I, I sold that and I, and I did put in a bid, uh, on, um, uh, Uroy, U-R-O-Y, uh, the Uranium Royalties Corporation. Uh, so maybe I'll pick up some more of that. And, I. Uh, that's about it. I mean, there's just not much to do. I mean, if you if you still want to buy silver, I mean, it's still not that bad a price. Of course, I was trying to explain premiums to to my my ex-wife. Uh, we still talk occasionally. Um, anyway, for whatever reason, but uh, yeah, and, and and she she goes, well, I don't want to buy it because it costs more than the spot price. I said, well, of course it does because the. You have to understand the spot price is a manipulated price that the banks and you know that everybody sets the the actual price that you're going to pay for silver gold and platinum you're going to pay what's called a premium okay and uh and that's just just a given now when you go to sell it are you going to be able to sell it at the premium that you bought it at no no you're going to sell it back at a discount to whoever you bought it from that's how they make money okay it's, I, so it'd be, it'd be just like you go in and you buy a shirt off of the rack for, you know, X number of dollars, 28, you know, and then if you went back to sell it, I mean, I'm just giving a stupid example because you can't do this, but if you went back to sell it back to the person that you bought it from, uh, they're going to say, well, yeah, we'll, we'll give you $20 for it, you know what I mean? <laughs> so that's, that's how it's going to work. But what, you, what you're hoping for with silver, gold, and platinum well, it's 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 not an investment. It's just something to hold. It's a it's a holding uh, pattern. You know, you're just trying to preserve your wealth. Okay, and I, I, you know, by the way, the uh, yield curve inverted. I didn't I didn't even know this. I was watching. Um, uh, gosh, uh, Lynette Zhang, I think that's her name. Um, but, but yeah, what what that means with the yield curve in, inverted is is that short term. Treasuries are now selling for more than long term. That's that's called an inverted yield curve, and that's an indication that we're heading into some really dark times. Uh, every time that's ever happened, we've gone into a recession. Well, this time, we're looking at a depression, and I, I, I love it. Uh, uh, what's rich dad, poor dad? Uh, can't remember his name. I, he always says, we're in the everything bubble, people. We're in the everything bubble. Real estate's going to crash. Stock market's going to crash. It's all going down. I hope you have some silver and gold, and I hope you have a Merry Christmas. I, I don't know if I'll do this on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, but I got no plans. Uh, so I might as well just kind of watch the world burn. Peace out. Stay free. And good, 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 good to live in the free, free, free state of Florida.